May I say something to you to give you a true knowledge of yourself and life so that the same glory and success attained by other men who understand themselves may be yours? Man in the full knowledge of himself is a superb and supreme creature of creation. When man becomes possessor of the knowledge of himself, he becomes master of his environment, the captain of his own ship, the director of his own destiny, the accomplisher of his own end. You must acquire an understanding of yourselves. Look around you. See the smiling pictures of nature, the beautiful hedges, the wonderful mountains, the wonderful vegetation all around. You don't know whether you're doing right or wrong. With a greater knowledge of life, you're able to appreciate all things around you. I'm able to gather you here because I understand you. Understand your neighbor, your wife, your children, and you will be able to live in harmony with each other and get the best out of life. Any leadership that teaches you to depend upon another race is a leadership that will enslave you. Any leadership that teaches you to depend upon another race is a leadership that will enslave you. They gave leadership to our poor parents and that leadership made them slaves. But we have decided to find a leadership of our own to make ourselves free men. Our great scholars having passed through the colleges and universities have thrown away the blessed record. Babylon did it. Assyria did it. France under Napoleon did it. England under America under George Washington did it. Africa with 400 million black people can do it. Can we do it? We can do it. We shall do it. We have prayed to God for vision and for leadership. And He has given us our universal vision. A vision that will not limit our possibilities to America. A vision that will not limit our possibilities to the West Indies. But a vision that says there must be a free and redeemed Africa. We must canonize our own saints. Create our own martyrs. And elevate the positions of fame and honor. Black men and women who have made a distinct contribution to our racial history. Because Africa has created millions and countless millions of black men and women in war and peace, whose luster and bravery outshine that of any any other people. So why not see good and perfection in ourselves? Never forget your God. Remember that we live, work, and pray for a binding racial hierarchy, whose only natural, spiritual, and political limits shall be God and Africa at home and abroad. With one, with God's dearest blessings, I leave you for a while, one love. Brothers and sisters, Marcus, Mosiah, Harvey.